Welcome to Geocom's Ask the Expert. I'm Kathy Lilliquist. The question we are going to be discussing today is, can you please explain what is the provisioning boundary? The provisioning boundary is one of five required data layers in NINA's NextGen 911 GIS data model. It's a polygon layer and it defines the area of responsibility for provisioning data, GIS data, up into the network. So let's first look at how that provisioning boundary layer is used, and that will help you in understanding how it would be configured for your situation. So the data is provisioned up through the spatial interface, SI. Every spatial interface has a designated spatial interface operator. Now that operator could be a state, could be a region, could be a county. It could even be a vendor that has been hired to help with this process. So what the operator does is reviews the GIS data that has been submitted and utilizes the provisioning boundary to ensure that no features extend beyond that area of responsibility. If any features do, that can cause possible overlap issues, which would be problematic up into the network. Okay. Now, now that we know what it's used for, let's look at different configurations. It's been commonly stated that every primary PSAP has its own provisioning boundary. Well, that's true in the case of where, let's say, a county GIS department supports a single PSAP in that county. In that case, the provisioning boundary would be the county boundary or the GIS responsibility which would be the GIS, the county GIS department. But let's take that another step and let's say that the county GIS is supporting two PSAPs within the county. In that case, the provisioning boundary would not be the individual PSAPs, it would be the county boundary still. In another example, you may have a regional authority. That regional authority is responsible across multiple counties, multiple PSAPs. And in that situation, the provisioning boundary would be the boundary of the regional authority, not the individual PSAPs. I hope that kind of clears up some information or clears up some concepts of the provisioning boundary. And as always, with po polygon layers being provisioned up into the next gen network, there can be no unintentional gaps or overlaps. So that GIS providing authority needs to make sure that everyone is in uh, agreement in the surrounding areas to make sure that we don't have any gaps or overlaps in that provisioning boundary. Thank you very much and see you next time on Geocom's Ask the Expert.